guys, welcome to this video. I'm sorry for these late reviews. Um, I'm actually been pretty bit pretty busy because I'm actually moving um, to the house. I usually see my basketball videos on the other channel, and yeah, all that stuff. So today we're gonna review Halloween H20, aka people call it a Halloween H20, Halloween 20 years later. My personal third favorite in the series, to be honest. I like that movie. And we'll be doing Halloween Resurrection and Scream 1. So, yeah, triple. So pretty much Halloween H20. Or H12, whatever. Is, um, about how Lori Strode faked her death and moved to California with her son. So she could hide her secret and get away from Michael just in case he's turned. Now they say that he was never found. They maybe they claim that it came from Halloween one, but it was it does leave off from Halloween two. Now, here's my theory is from this movie. She faked her death before the during the events of Halloween four how it says that she died. And now she would get a mother. That's what I think. Be, be, I'll be honest. That she just left to keep him and her safe. Her son and him earned her safe. But didn't work. But yeah. Now. So this is what happens in the beginning. Just Michael Myers. Yeah. You see the nurse coming back. Um, from part one and two, Nurse Nancy, I believe her name was. It's, yeah. So she finds out someone broke in her house, so she gets these two hockey dudes to help her. Um, these guys, and then the guy, the dude, just walks in, searches everything with the stick. Talks about how he got suspended, blah blah blah. Great man, just looks around and it's just paper and stuff like that. And then he goes and hits the, you know, the top, like how they have those things on the top of your stove or whatever, have the pans and stuff. So he knocks all that stuff down and then takes two beers from her thing. She walks in, they call the police. Then the two kids walk away. Then Michael Myers starts stalking at her. Then follows her into the next house. Well, not really, but he just goes into the other house, I guess. He killed the other kid already with his hockey um the the um thing, whatever they are, and then he killed her and him. <coughs> Then we see him and drives off and takes her car, and then the cops are just searching me, and it was Dr. Lumis' house, I guess, and they just gave her, and like, he took the Lori Strode papers, so that's even crazier. So then, yeah, pretty much. So then he takes her car and drives away. Sorry, oh, my mouth is over, but, um... He just runs away, then runs out of gas at this place, and then he takes his lady's car, leaving it, and her son, and her daughter, and stuff, is there. So yeah, blah blah blah, they're taking him to the bathroom, inside the men's bathroom, because the girl's bathroom was locked. So then, he just drives off, and then he goes to the academy that Larry showed, aka Carrie Tate, this movie, <coughs> is the, like, principal, or whatever you want to say of the thing. So then, yeah. He drives by, then drives away. And a lot of people, I guess, were worried about um, LL Cool J, but he's actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, her son named John had a 17th birthday and finally got the pay his thing from his father. So yeah, and then Lori shows believes that he's there. 
that Michael is there. Keeps me in the mirror and stuff. Now, there's the semi. So I really don't want to get into most of this movie, but yeah. So then her mother, um, well, her mother in real life, so, you know. Both of these shows mother in real life, okay? There, okay? <laughs> like, the actor. So, it just takes the scene from Psycho, the same music and the same car-ish. So, yeah. Oh, God. My mouth. So, yeah. And then, she goes... Then she talks about the thing, and then she kid go, and then all this other blah 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 blah. Then they, instead they stay, have a party at the camp. The kid gets stabbed in the foot, I mean the leg. The other two die, and only the girlfriend and the and Jean survive out of the kid. Then, Boy still just has a best battle inside this thing. And, um, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis's mother. So, just to point that out, I'm sorry that I did that, but, um, <coughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. They will fight, then he knocks her down into this thing, then they take him into an ambulance, and then, out of nowhere, she drives off. She takes the thing and says, no, I'm not doing this crap again. I'm not doing any of this again. So then she drives off with the thing, and then she flies out the window. She runs, like, hits him against a branch, and then cuts her, his head off. And that's the end of the movie, after they touch hands. Now, obviously this other movie just killed it all. Halloween Resurrection. Now, obviously... I am a sucker for this movie. I believe it's more funny than horror. So it's like Abbott and Costello meet, you know, Frankenstein and you know, all of those things. That's different. You know, that's how I thought it was because Buster Rhymes was in this. And at first, I thought it was, uh, excuse me, LL Cool J in the beginning. But, you know, it's not. <coughs> so, what happens is that Buster Rhymes, and nobody cares about his actual name in the movie. Nobody cares about any of these characters in the movie, that's what I'm saying. And Tyra Banks are running this TV, I mean this show on the internet. Sorry about that cut, and everything was staged. So yeah, everybody starts killing because I get killed because Michael Myers returns. Okay, what's up guys, sorry for the multiple cuts, my battery ran out on the old um, camera, so I'm sorry about that, but how long are the rest of Well, this is what happened. So they say that Michael Myers didn't really get his head cut off and that he choked the paramedic that went in and the paramedic was put Michael Myers' clothes on and all this other stuff and then Michael Myers left as a paramedic. Great. So, yeah. Then Michael Myers, the real one, wearing this one of the best masks is actually in this movie series. I like the Resurrection H2O mask. Those two are my favorite. And, like, the Halloween 1 H2O and Resurrection. Um, and Halloween 2. Those four are my favorite. I don't... I dislike parts 4 and 5 and 6. Part 6, a lot of people actually like, but I don't really like it. And part 3, obviously, doesn't have Michael Myers. Except for the promo, so I guess when he does show up inside the TV, then that mask. So, yeah. So, yeah. Then he goes and kills Laurie Strode. Wow. That is amazing as hell. Now, we never thought that he, she was going to die, but a lot of people didn't. I understand why. I understand why. But, here's one thing that he's breaking in, and then there's a guy obsessed with killers. So then, it's really funny, but 
the guy just, you know, he knows that he's there for some reason. So then, they go and fight, and then she gets on the rooftop, and then she's about to cut it, him down, and then she feels sympathy, because maybe it was another poor person, I, and then it really wasn't he tricked her, and then killed her, and then she fell off the roof. Now, here's why I think this was true, because Jamie Lee Curtis was trying to pass on the Scream Queen thing to whoever was next, and obviously the person that was next was Jamie Lloyd, a.k.a. Annie from Halloween 2, Annie, and, well, how Rob Zombie's Halloween's from Annie, and the part Four, five, part four and five. Jamie Lloyd, Daniel Harris. She's the current scream queen. But yeah. So here's why I think. Sorry. So then, Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks set up this whole retarded thing inside the house. Myers house and tricked like eight or ten people I don't fully remember into going in there and trying to survive like a week or a night or a day it was something like that and then Michael Myers actually returned sorry uh, so then he is going on a killing rampage starts killing all of them now some of these characters are ignorant, and some of them are cool. Now, who are the only the people that survive? Two people, Buster Rhymes and the main girl, who has this relationship with a dude on, over the internet who actually saves her life. So, yeah, Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks, they set up this thing inside the Myers house. trying to scare them. It's like a prank. Okay, so... I just retarded. But... They do... And, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So then... The people just find everything out. They find dead rats. Dead people. Like bones. Skeletons. So, yeah. You know that he was there. So he pretty much killed everybody except for Buster Rhymes and the main character. Because I'm not going to say any of their names. Because that's how stupid and how. Uh, I only know three, four people from this movie technically. Like, as characterized, but I don't know. Buster Rhymes' actual character and Tyra Banks' actual character in this movie, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So, pretty much Tyra Banks and Buster Rhymes are the only reason why you should even watch this, but I do like a lot of the scenes. Also, I like... I did, the only thing that I really dislike about this movie is the Kung Fu fighting with Michael Myers and, and Buster Rhymes. I'm not going to go over anything else. So yeah. They just literally go and Buster Rhymes just kicks his A. Kicks his A. With Kung Fu fighting. He calls, he's like, I'm Blackie J. <laughs> So, you know, I had to laugh at that, because I actually know the creator of Blackie Chan. The person that actually made it. It's made Blackie Chan up. I know the person. I met him. So, it was pretty funny. But, um, he just goes, that's my problem. But some of his dialogue during this way is, like, really retarded. He's like, trick or treat, muddle. Trick or treat, muddle. 
I don't really want to say it because, you know, trick or treat, mother uh, And he's like, Happy Halloween, Mikey. Happy in Halloween, Mikey. Yeah. Just some of his lines are retarded and funny. So what happens is that the dude is just ki is like, yay, and then yeah, what happens next? <coughs> they take Michael to the uh, to a thing hospital, whatever, and he comes back to life after burning and getting electrocuted. That's some BS. And they try to set up another movie, which I don't think would have been even possible. Unless they brought Jamie Lloyd's character back, which wouldn't make any sense because he died in part six. The worst movie ever. But, yeah. Now we're going to get to Scream 1. My second favorite series, we're going to start it off. So here's what happens. So, there's this girl being stalked by this so I'm just gonna go over the summary technically of this movie. So there's a girl being stalked by her boyfriend, which we don't end up finding out, and his best friend until the end. Now sorry. What happened? So pretty much they uh, they blame the other guy um for the murder of her mother and all this stuff. So pretty much, yeah, in the beginning, they, one of them, or two of the both of them, are dressed up as the character. <coughs> and they care, kill, um, who's the lady from E.T., the little girl? Oops, I forgot. Um, something, but whatever. And Casey, her name is Casey Becker, and she's killed by him after uh, retarded phone calls and argument over the phone and all this other stuff. And then the parents find her dead. And then this thing comes up to scream and the sirens are playing and all this other stuff. So then Nev Campbell comes and she's Sydney Prescott. And then she's being stopped and then her friends start dying. Yeah. And pretty much her father is like a fugitive, and they end up blaming him on him in the end. So yeah, so they kill every pretty much everybody. Then they attack her best one of her best friends, best friends um one of his best friends' cousins. I mean best friend's brother, and he's attacked, and they thought he died, but then he came back to life, and um. What's her name again in this movie? Courtney Cox? Or Courtney Cox? Or Kat Cox? It's retarded. Um, but she's in this as Gail Weathers. And then, yeah, they start going out. Like, they start having emotions for each other. They shoot the dude. And then they they start stabbing each other in fake blood, so they think that they actually die, but it's actually ketchup <coughs> or syrup or something like that. Oh no, it's syrup. And then um, pretty much, then pretty much he goes, they start stabbing each other. They have a stab fest, they stab each other crazily, and then <coughs> I don't know what's this dude comes out of nowhere, and then she starts running away, then she grabs an umbrella and stabs him, and the dude, Stu, which is the other one, the other one's Billy, and it just falls on his head with TV. That was some crazy stuff. Now, did I think that he died? No, because he was actually set to be in Scream 3, Stu, and he, he, was, he broke out of jail, and then he's supposed to go and go on the rampage. Now, would I have liked that? Yes, but they didn't want that because of the, um, what's it called, the Columbine High School Massacre. So that's why they didn't do it. Now, 
yeah, that's pretty much all I have to share for you guys today. But, yeah. Scream 1 is the best one in the series. Then it's Scream 4. Then it's Scream 2. And then it's Scream 3. Scream 3, I like. It's not. It's the least favorite, in my opinion. But, yeah. So, yeah. I won't really go over any other characters except for Randy. Randy. And Dewey. And Gail Weathers. Those are the main characters. And. Neb Campbell, aka Sydney Prescott. So yeah, and her father. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say because you know I just wanted to get a short one out there. But see you guys later.